I'm Ryan Davis, Associate Managing Editor. Welcome to GameSpot Live. I'm Ryan Davis, and I'm here today to talk to you about Frequency, Sony's new rhythm game for the PlayStation 2. Hi. I'm back. I'm, there's more of me out there, and so, you know, my agent says that's good. If you want to play Broken Tetris, play Tetris World. Rhythm games have generally been more popular in Japan than they have in the United States. Sony's looking to change this with Frequency, a game that's been developed in the United States by Harmonix Music Systems. OMFG, guys! We've been hacksawed! Come look, quick! Help, help, Skeletor is back. What can we do? Uh, I'm Ryan Davis, and welcome to our live Wednesday new releases show. Uh, that's not the final name for it, but that's just what we're calling it right now. Uh, we're trying out something new here on Giant Bomb and GameSpot.com. Um, joining me here on the couch to, to kick things off and kind of uh, get you guys uh, up to speed on, on what we're trying to do here and what the, what the plan is, what the point is, uh, Mr. Chris Waters from GameSpot.com. That's right, Ryan. GameSpot.com, Giant Bomb. Together. I don't not, like that hand motion. Sorry. T together. Like, yeah. Like yeah. together. Not side, side by side. Not. No enmeshing. In, in uh, you mm. don't, I'm, I'm just going to tell you straight up, you don't want to get between my fingers. If you like the look and feel of the Deus Ex games, but couldn't get past all the heavy-handed stealth portions, or you just don't dig the whole RPG thing, Project Snowblind is just perfect for you. Hey, time trotters. Jeff, Ryan. I'm glad you're here. We're getting a budget. Hey, all right, Neo Geo is for everybody. And Switchblade. Yeah. Sorry, fellas. I already spent it. Time Trotters, an elite video game task force charged with keeping our classic games safe from whatever nefarious evil seeks to destroy them. Hop back in time with the team before it's too late. controls is right here. It's 20 bucks and it's still total garbage. They could have they could pay me 20 bucks and I still wouldn't want to play this game. No, they $20 is $40 too much for Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22. <laughs> this is Ryan Davis from Petaluma, California. What we have here is a bounty of luxurious E3 swag that was collected during E3 2006 by the GameSpot editorial team. Jeff, why don't you tell us a a, about some of these crazy great things? collection of things here, Ryan. We have got things that span the entire show floor, hall to hall. This is a great opportunity for dealers if you're looking to get into the video game memorabilia business. This is the set to get right here. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, for those of you that missed it, GameSpotting 100 was, as you might guess from the title, our 100th edition of GameSpotting. No! If you think that you're too cool for Mario Power Tennis, get over yourself. Hey Jeff, remember the first time we played Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22? This game's garbage. This is a new pirate-themed MMO. That's now, right. Now, I have to say, this is a, a, as far as the MMO market goes, this is a refreshing breath of fresh air. Fantasy stuff, so tired with MMOs. Oh, you'd probably have to be at least mid-twenties to try to solo this one, at least. And that's, so that's like another like day and a half so of playing by yourself. 
about about yeah. Ruiz I'm not. You know what? I'm not just your bullshit expert. <laughs> just want to say that right now. You have no ownership over me. I am lending my bullshit expertise to the show. I thought we had him. I thought we. Had, I thought we did. You didn't. You didn't lock me down. No. No. No platform exclusives for me. I am so chuffed that today is the last day of the show. All right, Ryan, you ready? I am ready, sir. Looks like you got your eye on Rampage. Right, this is where I'm going to go first. All right, cool. This game, I can get right through it. It's going to be awesome. Tyler's going to start the clock when I say the magic word. You ready? I am ready. Go. Oh. Ryan's playing Rampage, familiarizing himself with the controls, and the building is down. Moving on. All right, Army Man, Sergeant's Heroes. Got to get run over by a tank. Run over by a tank. I'm going. I'm looking for the damn tank. Where's the tank? There's the tank. Now, Ryan, you gotta get run over by the tank. Oh, Ryan's run over by the tank. Moving on. Typing of the dead. You gotta kill five zombies. Five zombies. Two. Three zombies. You got two more. Two more. Play it safe, G. Play it safe, G. Oh, that's five zombies. Moving on. A thousand points. MotoGP stunt mode. Stop! What's the time, Tyler? 50 seconds, Ryan Davis. 50 so seconds. That's not so good. I thought I was going to do a little bit stronger there. All right, well, let's see, uh, we'll see how Brad and Alex do. Right, we'll do. see how they do. I got the first round, so uh, well, let's, let's find out how these bad boys can handle it. We'll do just that right after this commercial. Hi, I'm Ron Graphite, president, founder, CEO, COO, treasurer, and fan club founder for the Pencil Council. Since the advent of MySpace, YouTube's text messaging, the Telegraph, the internal combustion engine, penicillin, and other modern conveniences, a lot of people have taken pencils for granted. I'm here to tell you that the pencils are better than ever and more useful. But you don't have to take my word for it. Uh, I trust pencils so much I wrote my will with one. Now that's trustworthy. But how do pencils stand up against other writing utensils? You can't spell pen without the word pencil. That's true if you don't think about it for too long. And unlike pens, you won't have to worry about those pesky exchange rates when traveling overseas. Even British people can use pencils. In Britain, we access the internet with pencil. Yes, there are literally tens of uses for pencils. Pencils. It's what paper was made for. Pencils. Because number two is number one. Pencils. The right way to write. Pencils. Let's get to the point. So unless you're really a hardcore Naruto fan, you can probably take a pass on it. These are all right. You can get two of these in the set, and, and they're beautiful. These are, real, these are real nice items. They're beautiful. They're beautiful Mo items. Moving forward. Every morning there's a heartache hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's four-post bed. I know it's not mine and I know she thinks she loves me, but I never can believe what she said. Something so deceiving. When you stop believing, turn me around again. Said we could do it, you know I want to do it again. Every morning, every morning when I wake up. Hey, this is another letter from your future self. In the year 1993, the world will be struck by a gigantic block of space cheese. Tell everybody you know this because it's definitely going to happen. Befriend the rodents now so they can help you survive in the impending apocalypse. That's, that's really all I have to say about Tetris Worlds. I feel broken now, too. Time Trotters, an elite video game task force charged with keeping our classic games safe. I, I Precisely. Balled, I balled till I balled. Oh, dude. <laughs> I got that, I got that, I got that. <laughs> All right, so I think that about does it for our uh, online broadcast, yeah? yeah? Yeah, I think it does. We're going to set it out. Thank you all for watching the Players Ball. Peace out. There we go. Big wheels keep on turning. Carry me home to see my kin. 